Today, I'm going to start talking about Python, give you a little introduction about the language, uh, how to install it on your computer, and some little introduction about programming in general and some uh, syntax in Python to do basic things. So Python is a very modern programming language. It's about 10 years old. And at this point, it's become pretty ubiquitous in software. Uh, it's a very easy to learn language and it's used in a lot of uh, scripting environments for not just for programming, but also for scripting software like Rhino uh, 5 has a built-in now, uh, Maya and a lot of other programs. So it's a very worthwhile language to learn and it's the language we're gonna use for this class. So nowadays, most operating systems come with Python already installed. Um, a lot of Windows computers have it installed and I think it's included in uh, OS X at this point. The way to check if you have it already installed is to go to your C drive. And if you have it installed, there should be a Python folder in the C drive. So the version of Python we're going to use is the last version of Python 2, which is Python 2.7. Uh, so you should have a folder called Python 2.7 in your C drive. There is a Python 3 that's been out for a few years now. It's pretty stable but some of the functions work differently. So for now, we're gonna use uh, Python 2. Another way to check if you have Python installed is to go to your command prompt. And Python is a programming language, not a piece of software in itself. So actually it can just run straight from the command prompt and the way you call it Python is you just type in Python and it should load here. And now basically Python is just running in your command prompt as a language. So you see here, I'll display the version of Python and then some information about help. Uh, and from here, you can just start typing Python commands. So the simplest way is you can just start writing in math functions and it'll give you the answer. So here, um, this is Python running now. Um, you can do anything that Python does right in the command prompt. And if you want to quit, just type in quit function and it'll bring it back to your command prompt. So if you type in Python and it doesn't load right away, um, it might be because your computer isn't set up to find Python in the right place. And what you need to do basically in Windows, in Mac this should already be set up, but in Windows you might have to go and add the Python directory to the list of places that your command prompt looks for software. And you do that by adding a path variable. So you go into control panel Go into your system folder, go into advanced system settings, environment variables. And what you want to do is add it, edit the path variable. So path is where um, command prompt will look for programs. So then you can basically just type in the name of the program and it'll find it. Um, so you should have in your user system variables, a variable called path and you edit it. And you want to make sure that you have C colon backslash Python 2.7 or whatever folder your Python's in. Um, each path variable should be separated by a semicolon. And you might have more of these. Here I have the scripts folder also because I want to automatically be able to call up Python scripts from the command prompt. So once you do that, you should be able to just type in Python into your command prompt and it'll launch there. If you don't have Python installed, uh, you can basically download it from the Python website, so it's www.python.org, and you can go to the download section and there's all these install packages. The next thing I'm going to talk about is installing custom libraries into your Python package. So the great thing about Python is that it's one, really easy in terms of syntax, that's why people have gotten really into it, it's really easy to learn. The other great thing is that it's very flexible. So Python as a base has a lot of functionality, but it's very easy to write libraries to do specific things in Python. And people have written a lot of these libraries already to accomplish specific tasks. And uh, it's important to learn right off the bat how to install these packages into your Python. Uh, there's many ways to do this. You can install them from scratch uh, by yourself. The difficult part is that some of the packages need other packages to work. So they have this kind of hierarchy of requirements. And uh, because it can get a little complicated to find out which ones you need, uh, there's been a few of these installation tools for Python that make installation easier. 
The one that we're going to use here is called Easy Install. There's a few of these, but this one works pretty well. So basically what you need to do is go to the Easy Install website, which is here. Uh, it's made by this Peak company. And here they'll have on the website instructions on how to download it and install it. Uh, you can follow this link on the website and install the latest version of Setup Tools. And once you have Setup Tools installed, it'll install itself into the scripts folder of your Python package on your C drive. And you can see it uh, here as a program. So from there, you can go to your command prompt, uh, go to your Python folder, Uh, from the Python folder, you can go into your scripts folder and you can run easy install. So if you just type in easy install, uh, it'll tell you that uh, there's an error because you haven't specified URL, file name, or requirements. So to install anything with easy install, you basically type easy install and then you pass the name of the package that you want. And you can go back to this website and it will give you instructions on all the different ways to download and install a package. The simplest way is basically type in easy install once you're in the folder and then just the name of the package. And there's many packages that are useful for Python. The one we're going to use here um, in this class is a special package made for web scraping applications and that's called beautiful soup. So to install that you simply write easy install and you type in beautiful soup. So this will basically automatically search for Beautiful Soup, uh, find the address of uh, where the package is, is, can be downloaded from, and it'll download not only that package, but all the requirements. Because I already have it installed, uh, I basically found it already on my system. And you can see here, finished processing dependencies. In your case, if you don't have it installed, it might take longer, and it'll install everything basically you need for Beautiful Soup. Uh, once you have that installed, you can launch Python and do import BS4, which is the name of Beautiful Soup on the system, and um, it should uh, it should be okay with it. If you don't have it installed, it'll basically give you an error saying there's no such package. Okay, so that's the basic idea behind downloading packages, and you can explore on your own all the other libraries that are available. Um, we might mention a few of them uh, further on in the class.